Hey y'all, how are you? I hope you're having a great holiday. I wanted to do this uh, January 2020 predictions pick a card for you. Can be about love, relationships, abundance, anything can show up in these readings, okay? So I want you to, this is group A, this is group B, this is group C. Just take a deep breath. Let your eyes kind of go soft here. And which one is calling to you? Which pile is calling to you? Group A, group B, or group C? We're going to be talking, set your intention here. We're going to be talking about all different elements of your life. What's going on for you? What do you need to know about? What is coming up in January? Okay. So I'm going to start with group A. Let's move this off to the side here. Group B, group C. So group A, I basically do the same thing I always do. Time, uh, pull three cards, time for a nap, poised, and tick-tock. Okay, so uh, time's a wasting. Something needs to get moving. And I feel like you're right on the edge of something big. The edge, it can be about a commitment happening. It can also be about your work. Um, but the time for napping is over. Okay, the time for reflecting and what do I want to do next and things like that is done. So right now you're going to need to, you know what you're poised, um, or we'll talk about what you're poised, what is poised to come, but this does feel very, um, this is a, this card is a 30 card. So by the end of January, um, this is really happening in this month of January. It's not something that's going to happen after January. This is something that's happening in January. So the card underneath is two of swords, seven of pentacles, five of pentacles, Ooh, star. Okay. This is, uh, oh, let me just put these out before I start talking. <laughs> okay. Wow. Love and money. How about that? Both of them. So for you, wow, okay. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries here. That's pretty cool. Um, I feel like you might have put a lot of effort into something that isn't necessarily materializing, okay? And, but the effort isn't wasted, okay? The effort is not wasted. This is something that you might not be seeing. You're just a couple clicks off of what you need to be doing. And the seven of pentacles, five of pentacles. So you may have a little bit of a disappointment that you put in so much effort to something that didn't um, materialize in terms of a financial reward. But what did happen, what is happening is it was for another reason. So whatever you worked hard at or whatever you put time and effort into is coming to fruition. The wish is granted. Um, it is based on a new opportunity, okay? So this is a new opportunity around something you really wanna do, something that's your love. It can be another person, it can be a relationship. Um, if there's another person involved, um, they have been holding back, they're, they're going to make an offer to you of this Ace of Cups, okay? Um, if this is your business or your work, this person who is connected to you here has um, some good ideas. They also are supporting you, backing you. <clears throat> They're creating some stability for you. You might not see, you might not see that this person is kind of um, instrumental in your success. This person has your back. This person wants to make sure that you um move forward into your dream the dream is being realized okay whatever you've been manifesting or right now at the end of december you i feel like this is a longer term thing though you, you've probably put a lot of time and effort into this it could have been years worth of effort four five seven years worth of effort um this person that um i'm talking about let me see here let me use this Yes, three of pentacles, three of wands. Wow, queen of pentacles, okay. Yep, 
So I'm going to say this is this feels like a very um, strong abundance reading where any effort that you've put into something that is just not materializing, the reason it's not materializing is not because of your effort. It's really because there's somebody else here who is helping you see a new way of looking at it. Okay, it's a, I'm surprised we don't see the hanged man here. I feel like this person is instrumental in your success. They also could be a love partner, a husband or a wife, a life partner, because you're going towards, I feel like you could be moving in together or you could be getting married very soon, quite soon. This person is somebody who really loves and nurtures you, sees how much talent you have, um, and is urgently, the king, the knight of swords here is about urgency, tick tock, remember? There's only so much time on the clock where you can sit in this slumber, this, it's not a fantasy, I mean, star card is kind of a fantasy, but um, you only have so much more time on the clock when it comes to something that you put a lot of time and effort into that's not materializing. So whether this is a creative endeavor or a business idea or a job or something like that, the thing that you're going toward is going to be a shift. Okay, it's going to be different than what you're doing right now. And we'll look at that in the extent of what, what we're talking about here. What does that mean? Um, three of Pentacles, Three of Wands. This person, you manifested this person. This could be somebody who is a successful business person, somebody who is grounded, somebody who sees your amazingness, okay, your awesomeness. So it doesn't have to be a lover, but I feel like it might be in this case, okay? Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody who knows what they're talking about. You have a lot of respect for this person. Um, they are holding the line for you. If this Five of Pentacles happens, um, the Four of Pentacles, this person could have been holding back because they didn't want you to feel like um, they wanted to be with you because of any kind of rescue situation. Okay? That's not what they wanted to do. So they've been holding back a little bit in terms of their feelings or what they want to do, um, but they will offer something really big, okay? I love that this Queen of Pentacles is here. She is, you guys could be working on something together and the ships are coming in because of the thing you work on together, okay? Wow, this is kind of a big deal. Yeah, two of wands, three of wands. Manifested this. Oh my God, the magician. Strong manifester. Six of cups, six of wands. You're going to be overcoming any kind of financial issue that you've been having or career blockage or love blockage is being overcome by the man. You have manifested, wish granted here, you have manifested this queen of pentacles coming into your life. Absolutely manifested this person. And it's going to show you because they're coming back around to you. This could be somebody you already know. Okay, they're a life partner. And and you may you may believe that you I don't need anybody to be successful and all that. And that is true. But what this person brings is a new perspective and you're winning. This person is helping you win this game or win this abundance. Somehow you've been blocking the abundance. Somehow you've been blocking this. Some belief, it, they shift. Okay, so Aquarius is the card of, this is 11th house. This is the card of big picture thinking. Um, it is the card of shifting uh, a philosophy. It's not a Sag card, but it is the card of um, the rebel. Okay? And sometimes the rebellious nature of what you're doing is the thing that's keeping you stuck. It's about moving out of that rebellious thing into something that has more grounding to it. So if you're, you know, I'm passionate about this one thing, this person says, okay, guess what? How, how it's been, how you've been putting all this effort into it. There may just be something 
Like you just need to know what the business model is. You just need to know how that's going to come, how that, what you're doing, what you're passionate about, your calling on this planet, how that is going to come true. And this person has holds the key to that information. So they may not, they could be working on something with you. You guys could be working together. They could have a business. Something you're doing is instrumental uh, or is important for their business. Um, but what happens is this becomes a couple. So you become lovers. You become, um, you, you could be moving in together. Wow. So this is abundance and, and love. This person is the key to shifting you into abundance. Okay. And there is some kind of time limit here. I do believe by the end of January, um, this shift will take place. You'll be on your way to something more um, satisfying. Okay. The, the emperor is the, is all the Kings, right? Very, very high, very vibration. The <clears throat> Aquarius card can also be an, an emperor here too. You guys could be running the company together. Because of this person's entree into your life, you're able to manifest whatever you want. And it's not that you need this person necessarily to do it. It's their um, perspective. Everything is about perspective. If you have the correct perspective, the you're just a little bit off. That's all. You got this, okay? This person comes in and they say something and you're like, oh my God, Eureka, you know, that's what I needed to know. And then it becomes this beautiful um, connection. So you could be business partners, lovers, and husband and wife eventually, okay? So let's see where we go here. Group A, I'm going to look at um, Aries and Aquarius here. Yeah, Aries and Aquarius. So link is below for group A, abundance and love. Oh my God. All right, I'll see you over there. Group B is next. Okay, guys, group B, you're up. Let's see what we got here. Round and round. Between worlds, yeah, between worlds, loyal heart. Wow. So done with some kind of old pattern. Finally seeing it, finally getting rid of it. No more of this old pattern, whatever this old pattern is. Knight of Cups, Tower, woo! Wheel, oh my goodness. Two of Cups. So done with that old bullshit, whatever it was. Uh, Emperor, Aries, wow, Hanged Man, Page of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. All these readings are life partners. Um... Okay, so, oh, this is so nice. This is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, okay. So underneath the card is the Knight of Cups. So there is a romantic offering coming. It's going to come very suddenly. Tower, Wheel of Fortune, Wheel, uh, Jupiter is in uh, Capricorn now. So this is about the grounded nature of the new relationship that's coming in. That's beautiful. I see Aries. I see Leo. So I feel like this is a fire sign that's coming in. That's beautiful. This person is um, very dynamic. Somebody who is enlightened. Somebody who knows their own bullshit. Who sees their own crap. Who knows that, yeah, maybe I can be a little bit pushy and controlling. Yeah, maybe I can be. This person has awareness of their own stuff they've just been waiting this person's been waiting to offer you a beginning um possibly a ring possibly a an engagement i feel like you um it just kind of breaks through like the love just kind of this is the love stuff I, I don't know for some of you this could be a uh love at first sight thing when you first meet this person, okay? It comes very fast. Things move forward quickly. Um, sun, King of Cups, you both make, you both feel happy and joyful and loving together. 
And there's some kind of really beautiful healing energy between the two of you. Okay, let's see. Um, let's use this here. So let me talk more about the tower. I see Aries and Leo. So I'll, in the extended, I'll look at fire signs. Tower. UPS guy! All right, what's this about? Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is a, a wow. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Holy crap! Are you kidding me? Wow. So this is this is definitely a positive move forward. This person, um, like I said, could be an Aries or a, a Leo. I see Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here too. Whatever's being blown apart here, this is the new offering, okay? So you're, something is being blown apart that was really keep holding you back. Something was holding you back. Something is really holding you back. Star, six of wands, three of wands, five of pentacles, queen of pentacles. Wow, queen of pentacles, king of pentacles. So I feel like you um, were trying to go it alone. Okay, I feel like you were trying to go it alone. Um, really working to manifest something very, very difficult or very um, time consuming, spending a lot of time. I feel like you're just like looping around and around and around in the same kind of situation. Like you need something that's going to shift to get you out of this Five of Pentacles and more into this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like the love comes bursting through and this is a brand new beginning. This is a brand new day with this person. Uh, like I said, it could be um, love at first sight. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Ace of cups, Ace of pentacles, the wheel. All of a sudden you move forward with this person. They are Seven of Cups, Two of Wands, Six of Swords, Five of Swords, Ace of Wands, another Ace. So they have not been wanting, so there's some hesitancy on this person's part. They've not been wanting to push you. They've not been wanting, so you fall in love with this person very quickly. Okay, it could scare you that you fall in love quickly and you don't know how they feel about you. Um... I do feel like there's some kind of confusion uh, on their part. They're confused as to what you really want because I do feel like you kind of, um, you know, you're very independent. You want to, you want to do things on your own here, but this person's coming into your life. You know, they're just like, they're, they could actually see you kind of like, you know, being tentative, being confused or whatever, and they could kind of push you to move forward. So that's why this five of swords is here, right? They can kind of push you to get going, to move forward. There's some kind of, um, they just know, they know this is the right thing. And because they're the Aries energy, they're just like, okay, are we going to just dork around here? Are we going to move forward? They, they just know. Okay. They're waiting for you to sort of have this realization that they're the right person and you will and you do but they've already known this okay and and so they might be they might be doing things they might be planning trips they might be looking out and saying hey i want to have this um very um tangible start i mean you guys are king of pentacles queen of pentacles life partnership coming in loyal heart moving away from the round and round and round so this person could have been somebody in your life who you've had a couple of go rounds with. For some of you, this is a, a recurring person who keeps coming back into your life. And each time you're like, no, 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 you know, whatever, for whatever reason. This time is different. This time is different. And I feel like this person is kind of done hanging around. They want the new beginning. They're like, look, this is, we're here. This is it. Okay. And they might push you a little bit toward and offer this ace of wands here. Um, because they know 
They know that you're the life partner for them. They know this. It's taking you longer because you're moving around in this um, old stuff, fear, old patterns. Um, this person could have shown up in your life a couple of times and each time you kind of swat them away. Like, um, you know, maybe they're not tall. Maybe they don't have a lot of money or maybe they're not, I feel like King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, I don't think the money thing is going to be an issue. You may not see it. They may not, they may be hiding from you, you know, a lot of their, um, stability. There is something here about Five of Pentacles. I see Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords here. So there's something about money that might need to be worked out. Um, you know, a prenup. Somebody has a lot of money. Somebody has no money. There could be something along those lines. But this person sees you clearly, wants to move forward, doesn't understand your confusion. So they might, they might push you. That might not feel that good. Um... And they're going to say, you know, it's because I just know that you're my person. I wouldn't be pushing you or I wouldn't be moving forward with you or trying to get you to go with me if uh, I wasn't sure of this. So the tower is the realization of this new life. And you're between the two. You still have a foot in this old life that didn't serve you. You might have been dating somebody who left you out in the cold here. There could be some kind of money issue or something like that. But I feel like you're overcoming this because you know what you want for your future and what you've had with other people are not the same thing. You're seeing how out of alignment you are with actually where you want to go. And this person who is the emperor, king of pentacles, um, or emperor, queen of pentacles, either one, is seeing it they're getting it but there's something about them that you hesitate on or you're like no that can't be my person that can't be right it feels boring to me it feels um like friendship it feels like it's not this high drama relationship and i do feel like that's part of the goodness of this relationship that it's very stable Okay, it's very stable. This person sees you, all right? They are also getting, seeing things from a new perspective. Some things you say about what you want to do here moving forward are healing to them too. You guys are healing each other. Loyal heart. Okay, so in the extended, I'm going to look at Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I'll look at Aries and Leo. Okay, and we'll t get more about this pushing you forward thing. Okay, all right, link is below. Group B, January 2020 predictions. See over there. All right, Group C, you're on. And I, uh, obviously, I, <sighs> just peace out, Mary Jo. Okay, new life, yang, and flexible. <laughs> okay, this new life coming online right now is going to require you to take action in different ways, okay, than you might have in the past. Um, it's going to be a, a completely new experience for you. You might have left an old life behind. And in the old life, you might have been somebody who was um, very directed at what you wanted to do this time around. Uh, in this new segment of your life, that's not really what it's going to be, okay? Um, Allowing the universe to show you the path. It's just going to look different than you think. Okay, wow. It's going to look different than you think. I see Sag energy here. We'll look at that in the extended. Fool Tower. Oh my God. Okay. So... I feel like you might have had um, some disappointments, right? The new life is now coming online. You're seeing a lot of awesome opportunities. You might have some regrets over how you handled the past, okay? There might, there's some immaturity here, right? There's some um, fantasy-driven kind of experience. So 
this this is you knight of wands ten of cups ready to really you know go for it all right eight of wands you could be traveling you could be doing a lot of um awesome stuff in early 2020 you could have some um the yang energy here might be a little erratic okay so you might be trying a bunch of new things right just feeling this high vibration energy this ten of cups vibration energy and i feel like you could fall in love with someone very quickly very easily they could be a sag um there's another person here who felt who felt manipulated in their past. They felt like people were taking advantage of them. So they're really not, see how the Page of Swords has like the, the sword up like a bat, okay? So they're very, this feels very defensive to me. You could have broken this person's heart at some point and it doesn't really have much to do with what you left behind, but you, you might be coming like, Okay, so say you were, you, you might have been married or committed in another way and you're free of that. You do have, you do have um, uh, regrets about that. You also might have broken someone's heart because you have a little bit of um, commitment phobia. There's something here about, I really want, I talk a good game, you know, Ten of Cups, I really want this in my life, but then I'm um, not showing the commitment to it okay so there's a person here like i said could be a sag who could be um who is defensive about you if you show up again in their life i don't feel like i i, I feel like right off the bat they're going to be like hold up cowboy okay um this is going to be a situation where they i think they do want to figure it out okay i think they do they're just being going to be patient. They're not going to let you ride in on your stallion here. Um, but I feel like the energy of the couple here is very fast moving energy. Fool, tower, knight of swords. Um, I feel like you come in very quickly with this person. The person's like, whoop, hold up. You might apologize or have some kind of, of um, epiphanies about, what you went through before with this person you might share all that eight of wands ten of cups this person is like i don't nah, nah, nah. um i've been down this road with you before they're not really willing to do it again tower okay so the tower happens and then there is more communication i feel like this well let's see more about the tower here You could, okay, Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, oh, Ten of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Okay, so um, I feel like you, just a couple things. If you were married when you knew this person and you're coming off as a player or you're coming off as somebody who and this could be vice versa remember that okay um this person is a player or this person is somebody who doesn't have a lot of commitment capabilities they regret that okay uh if this is you if this is them whatever the other person is like you know i'm not going to go down this road again i know exactly what happened before i don't want to deal with this i see third party here you could have been with a water sign Okay, or someone was with a water sign from work. You know them through work. Sag energy here, fire energy. And this person is going to be asking you a lot of questions, all right, about your commitment. And I feel like um, you do have feelings for this person, but I also feel like they, the single one, the person who's the single one here did all the work in this connection or felt like they did all the work and they're kind of turning their back on this. Okay. Um, I feel like also for some of you, you could be, if you're newly divorced or whatever, the, and you try to make a new beginning with this person, uh, and they resist you. I feel like the ex could, could come back and play a role in um there's something about the x showing up again 
and it's a tower moment. Okay. The X is showing up again. Yes, third party situation, hanged man, seven of cups, nine of cups. So I feel like you want this person who is single. I feel like you do want them, but anytime you go near them, it's always a third party situation. So either they have somebody, they have somebody else, okay? They're dealing with somebody else or, and you might have to wait. Oh my God, whatever that was. Um, I feel like you, if you're liberated from a, um, a situation and now you want to date this person, I feel like they're going to be very defensive and they might turn their back on you. That causes this, this uh, tower energy to happen. You're willing to put in the work. You're willing to do the thing. Then the ex shows up again or somebody's ex shows up again. And then that creates this like battleground. Okay. Um, being flexible, this piece is like, okay, you're going to do what this person wants. You're like, okay, whatever it takes, whatever it takes is what I'm going to do. And the tower thing coming through is a very unexpected, um, de dealing with either this person's ex or your ex, somebody's ex comes back in the picture. And that creates the third party energy again. This person could also be dating somebody, even though they're single, they could be dating somebody. Okay. They could be dating an air sign. You're dealing with a water sign though. Okay. And whatever it is, the energy of this connection is third party. So, um, there's something about that, uh, that always is going to be. The tower coming through, blowing apart some kind of karmic energy here because you're willing to change and shift how you're doing this relationship with this person. You're willing to take action to move forward and all of that. I see the fiery energy here. But then something comes in, another person that creates the third party thing all over again. Okay. All right. So I'm going to keep going with this reading. I'm going to look at water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see Sag energy here. Okay. And I also see um, this, this air sign that this person may be dealing with. Okay. You guys could be two Sages. But the Sag energy here is of commitment. What is it going to look like? And I do feel like this, this energy is a lot of third party stuff needs to be cleaned up, needs to be, that's why this person's coming back or you're coming back to this person. Something about the third party thing needs to get cleaned up. Okay. All right. Link is below for you. Group C. I will see you over there.